upcoming elections happening on the 4th and 5th of March, I sat down with Katie Fay, running for president of next year's Student Union. So, Katie, what made you want to run for SU? Um, before I would have never said I was possible, uh, like that I could do it, um, and then after my year here on, as the Vice President for Engagement and Development, I just really gained a lot of confidence and stuff, and people were like, oh, are you going to run again, and all these different things, and I was like, I actually just felt confident in myself that I could do a good job as President, so um, yeah, my year here definitely encouraged me to want to run again. Yeah, sure. So you're currently on the SU, yeah. um, but what do you feel was missing this year, maybe that you could bring? next year as well. Yeah, um, just in general I suppose that the multi-campus is always a tricky one to try and get on balance um, so obviously we're all between the campuses um, but I definitely, if I was president, I would like to kind of improve on that and make sure everyone is definitely doing their days. Everyone does a fantastic job this year and they have been really good but I suppose it's something that has improved this year and I'd like to improve upon further. We got different bits down at the SU, we improved the SU down the paths and um, so it's been nicer having people around the office and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, just trying to really get that multi-campus balance right. Yeah. Perfect. And there are a lot of issues currently for students, so what do you think are the most pressing issues at the Accommodation is obviously a huge one at the moment. Um, DC has just announced their 4% rent increase, which we're not happy with at all. Um, we do have a good relationship with the university, so we don't agree on everything, but we can have um, adult conversations about these things, and we do get on well in most aspects. Um, and then accommodation, obviously, we have a lot of community students because they can't afford to live up here. Um, and in general, just the cost of education as a whole. Um, so we've heard of students having to drop out because they can't afford to live here, or they literally can't afford food, or they're working a full-time job because they can't afford to pay the rent. Um, so I'd say accommodation is the biggest one, definitely, um, and what I really hope to tackle next year if I'm elected. Perfect. And if elected, how do you plan on tackling this issue? So the, we sit on so many committees, um, the sabbatical officers, like between all of us, we sit on an outrageous amount of committees, but one we don't sit on is the campus accommodation board or committee, um, which we're not really sure what it actually comprises of, but I would like to sit on that committee, considering we sit on literally everything else, um, it's very important that a student voice is heard on that committee and someone is there to say, no, this can't happen because that's not okay for students, um, even especially with a new accommodation block, um, so it should, there should definitely be a student voice um, in that whole process, just to make sure that it's affordable for students and that it's what students need and what students want. And why should students work for you? Um, <coughs> this is a tough one. Um, I think I have a lot of experience. This is my fifth year now in DCU. I was class rep, I was faculty rep, chairperson of the society on the Society Life Committee. Um, I have a lot of experience here in DCU. I know how the place works. I've built up a lot of relationships with staff and students. Um, and I just, I really think I'm the best person for the job. I'm passionate about the student movement. Um, and I really want, to, I've started so many things this year that I want to continue. Things to do with sustainability and our university sanctuary and all those different things. Um, that I think it'd be a shame if I didn't get to continue on some of those projects. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm very passionate about the students and what we do for them. Lovely. And finally, do you want to just run us through your manifesto? Yeah, so my manifesto, as we talked about, accommodation is number one on there and that's getting to sit on those boards and committees. Um, so we have a student voice heard all over the university. Second is commuters. Um, we just announced that we're getting microwaves on campuses, um, which is a fantastic thing that students union have got this year. Um, so I'd like to introduce um, hot water access for students, more chill out spaces and hopefully some lockers in this building if I'm elected. Um, then university sanctuary, unfortunately at the moment we have two students who are facing deportation, um, which is outrageous because they're studying under a sanctuary scheme so they should be safe from deportation. Um, so I'd like to lobby the government along with our own university, other universities, sanctuary and the union students in Ireland um, to ensure that asylum seekers and refugees studying under a sanctuary programme um, are safe from deportation because it's just, it's not on at all. Um, so I've done a lot of work with the Civil Engagement Office this year as in my role for VP of Engagement and Development and um, so I'd like to work further with them and we just, we announced our first ever charity partnership with DCU with Barnstown, sorry, um, and we've done loads of work on that, I've been down to volunteer in Barnstown um, and we've loads of different bits and pieces going on so I just want to keep working on that project pretty much. Um, and then consent is obviously a huge topic at the moment and um, we have our consent play deck, de mm -hmm. Consent display downstairs, um, which was unfortunately um, taken down for a little while, but we have a backup bigger and better than ever. Um, I was a smart consent facilitator for the last two years and also on the smart consent committee this year, so we rolled out workshops to over 500 first year students at the start of the year, which was fantastic. Um, but we have a national consent framework in, DC, in all over Ireland, um, and DC have been slightly slow to implement it in certain places, so I want to just make sure that's implemented in all layers of DC. Um, yeah. Amazing, thank you so much. Thank you very um, much. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>